a handy guide on how to ask a girl out, yet save face for both of you if she isn't interested. Do you think this works on guys? Absolutely. Even though I'm a shy guy, if a girl I like asks me out and I'm legit busy, I will have no problem suggesting another day. No, you'd quit your job, drop out of school, etc. to make it happen. Slash S. P. This does bring a smile to my face. I see you. Thanos. I don't even know who you are but thank you. Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. This applies for men too. I was on the other side of this recently and ended up rejected anyways. Asked three separate instances to meet up for drinks w a dude and just got a cold shoulder response. Take it from a rando internet stranger. If they are interested they will let you know, one way or another. Otherwise just continue to do you boo. Maybe it's just that their crippling depression is flaring up. If so, it's caused a flare up in my crippling depression. Yes to all of this. Rejection sucks. We all hate it. I can't speak for all females. But just because I'm not interested in dating you doesn't mean I want to intentionally hurt your feelings. So please stop making it worse by ignoring the simple sorry, I'm busy let down. I won't be hurt if a girl told me sorry, but I'm not interested in dating you. Actually, I'd actually prefer that over the sorry, I'm busy answer. Straightforward slash to the point, and as long you don't make a pity game out of it, I'm sure most guys can take it. Way better than a maybe, but actually no cause I don't want to face the responsibility to actually say it out loud. No hate. Just trying to say most men prefer a direct answer. Believe me I'd prefer to give an honest answer. But I got sick of dealing with the fallout that came from taking that route. It's not the responsibility of saying it out loud that scares me. It's the unpredictability of the response to my honesty. Especially if it's in person. I had a guy twice my size get physical with me bc he didn't like my honest answer. So now I'm busy. Yes. This works. I remember hearing something super similar rather in a comedy movie or sitcom. Maybe it was a podcast, but it basically said something along the lines of if Ryan Gosling asked her on a date that same date, would she be busy? And then it went into the specific time thing. Basically, if you're making all of the effort and she seems uninterested, even if it's not about a date, you should move on. Fellow lady here, another idea is, if someone tells you she's busy, that day put the ball in her court, and say well I'm free on Saturdays and Tuesdays, if either of those days work for you, shoot me a text, if you want to make a plan. This is a great add on to this tip and really helps with those, but I've had times, when they were interested, but didn't suggest another time and or gives people another chance, to say yes without being pushy. I actually talked about this with my female friend. She said that she will not suggest another time. She will want him to ask again and suggest a different day or time. I think this is wrong but, well, this is who she is. This is where this method truly shines. It allows one to avoid wasting their time with people like that. Well, can't argue with that. Just wanted to say that she said I have very dated men sit on that kind of stuff or something like that so I can understand her as well. Did she mean outdated? Yes. She said it in our native language and I forgot the word for it. One of my favorites for meeting new people, works especially if you're casually chatting w slash a stranger, is to simply write your name and number down, and give it to them w slash a little hey. Use this if you want. If they decline. No biggie. Say hold on to it anyway or just scrap it and move on. If they accept. Even if to be polite. You'll know if they're interested bc they'll hit you up. I've scored some on the good days and even made some new friends. Worth a shot. Took a girl out a few times, and then was trying to set up a date. Conversation went something like this. Me, hey, are you free this weekend? I'd love to take you out again. Huh, sorry, I'm busy. Me, okay, how about next week sometime? Huh, I'm going to be busy for a month. Me, ah. Gotcha. Seriously thought about texting her a month later. Just for shits and giggles. As a girl, 
who has been rejected herself. I always try to be super nice slash polite to guys who are confident enough to ask me out. And I use this method, but some people don't get it. And I really hate just telling them straight up no. Because I don't like you. Because I know I will have to see them again and honestly I just don't like hurting people's feelings. But there was one good time that a guy could not take a hint. And after 3 weeks of constantly texting and showing up at my workplace. I had to hit him with the fake boyfriend. Compete with fake boyfriend date and him meeting the actual fake boyfriend. So do everyone a favor and just remember this post the next time you ask out someone. Please. Honestly I just don't like hurting people's feelings. Get used to it. You're hurting their feelings either way. You can either get it over quick like ripping off a band-aid or you can draw it out. And that's all I'm busy is gonna do. I want to believe this. But until someone actually did this to me, offer an alternative option, it had never occurred to me to 1. Look for that kind of response. Or 2. Consider offering this kind of response to other people. Which leads to my issue. What if the person sincerely doesn't know slash think to offer an alternative? Personally, I would still agree with the main comment. If someone is interested then they won't want to blow their chance, or at least what they perceive to be their chance and will typically be forthcoming with an alternative arrangement. If you aren't convinced and want it to be really clear, you could perhaps say something like, back quote okay no worries, good luck with the xm slash enjoy x slash, or whatever else, you've got my number so feel free to let me know when's good for you, and we'll sort something out. Then they are not pinned down, to give a specific response. The door is clearly open, if it wasn't clear already, and again. It's on them to show interest, rather than you chasing multiple times. I just asked a girl on Tinder if she wanted to meet for a drink and she answered that she doesn't drink alcohol. I guess that's the equivalent of SRY. I'm busy. I'm assuming so as well. She could have easily said something like how about coffee? Coffee Niles? I love the enthusiasm of this post. What's I might, once finals are over. Super stressed aren't supposed to mean. I'd just like to add it a bit of a story for a different situation. Years ago, a guy came up to me in a chipital, or was it Moe's, and asked if I was single. Knowing where this conversation was going, I turned him down as gently as possibly. I'm single, but I'm sorry I'm not interested. He smiled and said, oh that's fine. Take it as flattery and have a nice day. And if that's not the most impressive way to handle being turned down, IDK was it. Dude was literally so polite about it, I almost changed my mind. Why weren't you interested? Not physically attracted to him? I agree and disagree. I have had girls that have suggested alternate times and still not have been interested. I have had girls not suggest other times, but have been interested. Thank you for posting this. This will help in my current situation. I saw this post one day too late. Helpful post but anyone else find it ridiculous that we have to navigate through all these twists and turns? This is what makes dating so exhausting. Wish we all could just be upfront and honest. I think the point of this post, which I completely agree with, is that the mere presence of twists and turns is a red flag because if the other person were really into you, there would be no such twists and turns. A person who is genuinely into you makes it very easy for you to spend time with them. Guys always talk about how complicated women are, and I can't help but to feel that this complicated label comes from those guys lack of understanding that those women are just trying to reject them in the most polite manner possible. Of course, the guys egos won't let them believe that outright rejection is even a possibility. So they are left scratching their heads and dreaming up alternate meanings for a simple response, like I think I might be busy, gee, what could that possibly mean? Which brings me back to Op's point. The only responses that should encourage you to keep pursuing a person are yes and no. But how about if someone wants to spend time with you, they will go out of their way and work with you to make it happen. Anything less, even if just slightly less, should be taken as rejection. No need to navigate any twists and turns. Ever. I love this guide. Seems pretty accurate. But I have a question. 
I asked someone out in the worst way possible, because I'm a loser who can't say it face to face, I did it by message. I don't talk that much with her, because she does not study the same thing as I do. But we regularly take the same bus to college. When I message her she usually takes non-short periods of time to respond. Anyway, when I asked her out this third time, she said that we don't actually know each other, and that she doesn't knew if she would be comfortable, and that was kinda tough to read, because I felt like a creep. I then asked if she wanted to get to know me, cause I could keep texting her often. She didn't reply. When I run into her we smile and wave at each other, like nothing happened. She's completely not into me, right? Slash. Great advice. In fact, do this often in life in all disciplines, you'll be surprised how far you can stretch a schedule when you start with solid dates and times. I'm a girl and this blew even my mind. Didn't realize it but yeah. 100% true. You're a genius op. This is very accurate. And I wish for many men to read it. I also wish for a guy to do the same from their puff. But what about if every time, 3, we have hung out with our friends she kissed me, but still doesn't go out, 3, on a date with me, keep pursuing her, she's obviously interested, but maybe not interested in a relationship or something formal, maybe she wants the FWB or fling type of thing. I've had similar experiences with women who didn't want to date, but every time we ended up at the same place, usually out with friends, we'd connect, dance and have a good time, kiss, and go home together. It's interesting that besides you, two other friends said the same thing. It's a shame, because I really liked her for a serious thing. I guess I gotta take what I can. Thank you for your response, bro. Perfectly balanced as all things should be.